Hi everyone and welcome to codings.com. Guys, in this Flutter tutorial, I will be talking about buttons in our Flutter application. So as you can see here in our Flutter, we have this kind of button. The first one is elevated button and the second one is text button, outline button, icon button. And in elevated button, we have a button with icon which we call elevated button dot icon. Okay, so in this video, I will implement uh, these uh, four types of button one by one. So let's start. I will just simply remove this uh, text widget from here and I will start elevated button. So I will simply type elevated, elevated button and inside this I need to add a property of on press and I will simply leave it empty and here we need to add child. In child, we will add a text widget, which will be the text of our button. Okay, so I will call it uh, elevated button. Okay, now if I save this, as you can see here, we have an elevated button. Okay, and uh, we can also change the style of this button. So we need to add a style and in we will pass a button style here and inside this we can change the button background color the button text color so i will show you how you can change the button background color so simply type background color and we are using material color so if i uh, sorry material design if i uh, simply pass a colors dot red so it will give us an error but don't worry uh, i will show you how you can pass a color here we are using material design so i will simply type material material state material state property dot all and inside this material state property dot all i will pass colors dot red okay and i will simply save it and as you can see here the button background color is changed now if you want to change the text color so we need to change the foreground color and for foreground color i will simply copy this and i will paste it here and i will change the red to black and if i save it so as you can see here the elevated button text color is changed now okay and uh, as you as we are using the button style here uh, we can use another property here uh, i will simply comment this we are using elevated button so we can use the elevated 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 button dot style from okay and inside this uh, if you want to change the button background color simply type the primary and simply pass the colors dot uh, i will make it teal okay and if i save it so as you can see here the uh, button color and the text color is changed okay and if you want to change the text color here in uh, this style form and you need to pass the on primary colors sorry colors dot red and if i save it so as you can see here the text color is changed now but i will recommend you to use the button style okay so i will uncomment this okay there's how you can customize your button and uh, if i save it so it will go back to the initial stage and now uh, i will show you how you can use the elevated icon button so i will simply remove this all and simply type here dot icon and as you can see here we have on press and uh, let me remove this i will add it manually okay so we need to add uh, on press okay uh, i think we have an error in our code i need to remove all of this i will simply type elevated button dot icon and uh, i will remove this i will add it manually okay so we need to pass on press and as before we will leave it empty and uh, here we need to pass icon to our button so icon capital i icon inside this icons dot add okay and below here we pass the label label and we will pass a text widget mm, 
text widget and we will call it uh, e icon button okay and if i save it so as you can see here we have a button with icon and as you can see here in the uh, inside the icon you can also change the icon size and the icon color so let me change it for you and i will show you how you can change it to change the size of icon simply type size and here i will pass 40 and i will save it so as you can see here the icon is bigger than text now and if you want to change the color of icon so simply type color colors dot red and save it and as you can see here our icon is now in red color okay so that's how we can use elevated button dot icon so i will remove this and the second one the second button is a text button so i will type text button and inside this we need to pass on press leave it empty for now and uh, we need to add a child of text widget and inside this i will simply type text button okay if i save this so as you can see here a little text here this is our text button and uh, you can also customize this by using the style okay not inside the text widget but inside the text button simply type style button style and uh, we will change the foreground color by using material state property dot all colors dot red and as you can see here the foreground or the text color is changed now and if you want to add any border or any background color but uh, since this is a text button so we don't need to add any border or any um, background color to our text button okay so we will move to the outline button i will just simply remove this and i will type outline button okay on pressed and uh, the on press method and the child uh, is required in this uh, all these buttons so we need to add these uh, say we add child text widget and uh, simply i will call this outline button okay so if i save it so as you can see here this is our outline button and uh, we can also customize this by using button style so button style and inside this uh, we cannot assign a background color because it is an uh, outline button so i will just simply uh, customize the uh, border of this button so to add to customize the border simply we will add side material material property dot all and inside this we will pass border side okay and inside the border side we can uh, specify the width so the width will be 2.0 and uh, the color of the border will be like uh, something like mm, a red accent and the border style will be uh, border style border style dot solid okay so if i save this now as you can see here we have a red color border with width of 2.0 and a solid color okay and the color is also changed and if you want to change the for text color so you can use the material property dot all simply type colors dot uh, we will also change it to red accent so as you can see here this is our outline button okay now we will move to the icon button and the icon button is icon button and inside the icon button we need to pass on press because it is also a button and uh, we need to pass the icon 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 inside this icons dot um, i will pass the okay so we have complete list of icons here so i need i will pass this uh, clock okay for example we pass this clock here and if i save it 
So as you can see here, we have our icon button here, but I need to uh, change the size. So icon size and I will make it 60 and I need to change the color. So pass the color, colors dot, I will give it a color of blue. Okay. And if I hit save, as you can see here, this is our icon button. So no text here, only icon, but it is clickable. As you can see here, it is clickable and it has the on press method. So if you want to perform some action on this icon click, so you have to do it in this inside this curly braces. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. And if you like this video, share this video with your friends. And also, if you have any question, so you can ask me in the comment section. And lastly, uh, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos.